There we go. All right, we're lit. Hello everyone, welcome to the DIY wood-fired pool heater project. For this project, you're gonna need the following materials. A 55 gallon metal drum, 100 feet of three quarter pecs, two 10 foot garden hoses, a submersible pump, two shark bite hose spigots, U-clamps, and self-tapping metal screws. In prepping the 55 gallon drum, you wanna make sure to add some vent holes at the bottom. This will help with airflow and help for the fire to breathe better. First step is we gotta mount the pecs onto the back using self-tappers and a handful of U-clamps. Coils are done. So we have our inlet. This will be the pump connects. And then coils, not the prettiest thing, but it should work. And then you have your exit or your out. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Ow. What's up, Ruga? Hey, dog. Water line in from the pump into the lower part of the barrel. Water line out. Everything's connected. Quick test of the packs, make sure there's no leaks. And we got flow. So that's unheated, no leaks in the packs. No water running down from anywhere. Important to turn the pump on before you light the fire. That way you don't melt your packs. Add some lighter fluid, aka 87 octane. It's always good to have an extra helping of gas in there. I definitely love that in. Wow, you can get a little closer, Missy. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, no. Temp number two. Ah, <laughs> there we go. All right, we're lit. Barrel's burning, water's flowing, and now we wait. Five minutes later. So let's see what the temp is on the pecs. This is line going in. It's about, you can see that it's about 88, 89 degrees going into the barrel. And then this is coming out. We're about 95, 96. So about eight degree difference already. It's been about 10 minutes now, temperature check. Line going in, up to about 90 degrees. Line going out to the pool. We are up to, well, that was a spike right there. About 100 degrees, 102, 104. And then the temperature on the barrel, just for argument's sake, is at 400 degrees. Everything's still intact, no leaks. No melting of the pecs. So far, so good. And just a quick spot check as well at 10 minutes. The water is still pretty cool to the touch. It's slightly warmer than the water in the pool, but not much. Five hours later. Okay, so how do we make out? A little bit unsuccessful. So the hose actually cools a lot faster than we expected it to. The barrel was getting up to about 400 degrees and then 
as soon as the fire would die down even a little bit, the temperature on the barrel would drop from 400 down to about 160 degrees in a matter of a few seconds. So essentially it's a very efficient radiator. The main problem we're having is keeping the fire going. And I think the main problem with that is just the ventilation holes that we have on the bottom. We just don't have enough of them and they're not big enough. Next step is we're gonna add some more holes, make them a little bit bigger and hopefully that will allow the fire to breathe better. We did take the leaf blower that Sahan has on his back and we superheated the fire. And we found out that once the barrel reaches a temperature of about 600 degrees, the PEX actually does start to melt. We found the threshold of the PEX, but now we just need to see if we can keep the barrel at a steady four to 500 degrees. And we believe we can do that with proper ventilation then we can actually start to heat the water and get some temperature change to the pool. That's where we're at. We're going to leave it there for now. We're going to come back and try this again in another video. So stay tuned.